guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Rose Wolf. So, we have a good number of things to do today, but first and foremost, you may notice this path is very different. Um, so thank you guys very much for all of you who uh, gave me path ideas, etc. Um, this one is the winner um, so far. I am going to be changing the path multiple times during the series. I've decided mainly so that you guys have the chance to give me a path maybe that you made, maybe that you like. Anyways, this one was submitted by, I think his name or her name was Potatoes on Fleek, I think, on the Discord. I don't know if it's the same name on YouTube or if it's a different username. I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you very much to all of you, but specifically to Potatoes on Fleek because I really like this path. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have a good number of things to do today, as I mentioned, so we're going to start off going into retail. Um, let's check out what they are buying. Bamboo shoot. All right, once again, we don't have bamboo shoots yet. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff I've been working on uh, in between filming, so hopefully we'll get that done. Or a lot of stuff tidied up, rather, I guess, today. So first and foremost, we haven't actually had anything refurbished. And as you can see here, we have the Modern Wood TV. I think I got that either during stream or during one of the previous episodes. And I have decided that Modern Wood, the set itself, looks very nice, but I do want to have it refurbished. So uh, let's check out this, shall we? Yo, Crystal, what can I do for you, Squirt? Uh, I have a project for you. Oh, a project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Let me see if you got anything that stands out to me. Oh, you got something good. Can I take a closer look? Right here, my good sir. Ah, so you brought me a modern wood TV. Okay, great. The wood pattern? That can be redone. No problem. Do it for 180 bells? Sounds good. Okay then, time to decide how you want the wood pattern of this modern wood TV to change. Uh, what do you suggest, dude? Uh, alright, so I want to go with simple. It's the one I like most. You guys will see it, uh, hopefully for the end of this episode. Uh, yes please. So I believe, and I think he's gonna tell us, it'll take about 30 minutes, so hopefully I remember to come back for the end of the episode. But this is how it no looks normally, you guys should uh, remember that. Oh, wait, and then the other thing I wanted to do is ask about turnip prices. 114, okay, so that isn't all that much. Um, my other town, Rosewood, is buying them for 144 this morning. I'm obviously gonna check again in the afternoon. Uh, but I did kind of purchase turnips. <laughs> I think I bought a thousand eight hundred of them total, and that took up all of our savings on this character. Maybe. <laughs> um, but uh, I promise I will get it back double, hopefully, uh, that amount. But if not, it's not a big deal. Hi, O'Hare. How's it going, dude? Hey, I've been hoping to see you, Crystal. So, what's going on? Oh, let's chat, dude. The long walk out here is kind of lame, you know? Oh, wait, did he say talk or walk? Would you like to come over to my house right now? Only if you want to, of course. Ah, don't worry, I, uh, I'm not, like, planning a surprise party. Ah, uh, sure. You know, you better not trap me again. <laughs> anyway, I kind of wanted to go do something else, but you know what? We like O'Hare, we're gonna make friends with him. Also, fountain is done. I think this looks absolutely amazing. Thank you again to uh, the viewers here in chat helping us decide, and also Arcanist for coming in and helping me during last stream. Also, Robin is here, though Robin is not in her house today, so we're gonna have to say hello to her in a little bit. Welcome to my room, Crystal! Okay, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should like steal that shirt and then just send it back to him. <laughs> Sometimes they ask if you want anything from their room, right? So I don't know if they'll allow you to take clothes though. Okay, just relaxing. I'm relaxed. I'm good. Please wear this shirt. Alright, stop looking at that one. You're already wearing it. What do you think of my place? I hope you like it. I like it. Now, now give me something. Did you find anything in the world of O'Hare that caught and held your attention? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. 
this one. It's not a piece of furniture. Yeah, it is a fantastic choice. You should probably wear it. <laughs> yeah, give me. I'm gonna send this to you later. You won't miss it. You have- <laughs> Oh gosh, this- this bunny, he's like getting on my nerves. I love him, but please just wear appropriate clothing. <laughs> Oh gosh, alright. I'm gonna head out now, Here, in, in terms of time-wise, we need to, you know, get moving. Ah, uh, it's great, honestly. Oh, he doesn't like that I said that. It is great, though. I like the sand and uh, the whole theme of his house. Oh gosh, I should probably send him something. He seems angry. Man, I tell them I love it, and then they don't believe me, but most of the time I actually do like their house. It's really awkward. Anyways, so we'll come back and do our dailies and talking to villagers in a little bit. Oh, and I should probably do that. Um, <laughs> but first and foremost, we have something a little bit special happening, and I'm very excited. Like, extremely excited. And uh, if you guys have been watching the last few episodes, you probably already know what this is. It's is done. So this is Shampoodle. <laughs> We're gonna go get our hair done and we are gonna look absolutely amazing. Hopefully. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Oh my. Aren't you the mayor? It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. My name's Harriet and this is my salon. I help people who wear their inner beauty on the outside. If you want a makeover, sit down in that chair in front of my machine. Thank you. I've waited so long. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you today, sugar? Perhaps a new hairstyle or some special makeup? Oh, I, I need- I need the hair. I need the hair, dude. Three thousand bells! Alright, fair enough. Tell me the overall look you're going for, or you're hoping for, um... This is all going from memory, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna get this right. I see. A bit on the casual side then, oh no. Did I do it right? Being too serious is stifling, or stifling, so you can achieve a nice balance by toning it down a bit. By the way, what is your room like? Is it a bit on the messy side, or is your room kinda clean? Oh, okay, I got it right. My room is totally clean. Really? Is that so, Sugar? I bet you're pretty handy, Crystal. I wonder, are you also sort of the independent type? For example, are you someone who wants to make your hair nice and stylish on your own every day? Or do you prefer a more natural, sort of effortless look? Oh, I like to style my hair. I see, so a hairstyle that requires some mousse or hairspray would be fine? Okay. I can totally picture the hairstyle in my head now. Now then, you need to pick out a hair color. What kind of color really speaks to you? I think I'm gonna go natural for the first time, and then maybe in the future I'll let you guys decide what type of hair I should have. Um, okay. Hopefully this is the right place. I don't like these sliders, they make me nervous. Uh, I feel good about it. Oh ha! <laughs> yep, you look both fabulous and totally different. I'll be 3,000 bells, please. Oh, I need to return anything I was holding on to for you. There we go, all done. Okay, guys, so... The hair plane is finally gone. This is not the color I was going for, but you know what? It'll do. I am so happy. I hated that hairstyle so much. <laughs> and we've had it for like three and a half months, which is crazy. Anyways, alright, so let's go do our dailies now that we are looking absolutely amazing. <laughs> no more hair playing here. I maybe not be, I might not be rather as uh, aerodynamic as I was, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go search for our fossils. Um, Blathers actually did take a fossil yesterday, but it didn't even complete a set, so... Oh boy, we're, we're, we're still a ways off, unfortunately. I hope you guys don't mind, by the way. Um, I did ask stream, but I'm not sure I got like a really positive or negative response. Uh, I want to leave these here 
the woof things everywhere. Mainly because it's hard to pick them all up and then put them all down again when I'm expecting someone to move in. But also, it's just... It's like a safety net for in case somebody does move in. Well, I don't think I w they will because uh, we have, you know, the max amount of villagers right now. But, like, you, you never know in the future, right? So, how do you guys feel about that? Because I, I... Part of me hates it because I like having a really neat, fancy-looking town all the time. But uh, the other part of me knows it's more practical. So, what do you guys think about that? Also, money rock. Perfect, we needed it. <laughs> the only money we have on us is the bills that we have on hand. It's like we've gone back like two months to the very beginning. No, 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 no one's, no, no. <laughs> no one can move in here, all right? Not happening. Okay. There we go. That's a bit better. But, uh, yeah, if I figure we need a few more bells and, and here and there, I might just, uh... Was that a... Oh, here it is. Um, I might just do another trip to the island, perhaps on stream, who knows? Maybe a later night kind of just island hunting. Island hunting? Oh my goodness. Beetle hunting, island tour type of, uh, stream. We'll see how that goes, though. I haven't really been, uh, feeling that great still. Not sure if I'm having, like, the onset of allergies or if I'm getting sick or, or whatever, but I'm definitely not feeling quite right. But you know what? It, we should not be having allergies right now because we're kind of in the middle of a snowstorm here in Toronto. Um, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's very, very cold too. I had the heater on before I started filming and I can feel the room getting colder as I go, which kind of sucks. Oh, here's another one. Okay, awesome. So just a little reminder you guys, actually today, well actually by the time this uploads it'll be too late, but Annalise is moving out in my other town, but in this town, Flora is moving out I believe on the 17th, I think that was the day. Um, so if you guys want her please head over to the Discord, I'll be opening up the raffle for her probably later on this afternoon actually. Uh, just because I didn't want to have two going at the same time, I know I wouldn't be able to keep up with it. Uh, anything here? No? No? Okay. But yep, she's gonna be leaving. This little horrible section right here will no longer bother me, hopefully. And uh, and yeah, it should be good. And Willow's house is is uh, growing over quite quickly. I'm really surprised at how fast the grass uh, grows over patches where villagers used to live. Like it is actually isn't that bad at all. Okay, Freckles is in her house, so she better go say hello to her. Continue trying to warm her up, so you know. Hopefully she'll move out, because her house placement is terrible. <laughs> to be fair, so is Poppy's, but I love him too much to let him go, ever. Freckles, how's it going? Uh, let's talk. Hey, is it really true that the squid is popular? I have to have one. Can you please get me one? I mean, sure. We can do that. You sure you don't want a kid, though? I can get you one of those. I'm just, just saying. I'm just trying to think, by the way, you guys. I don't really know what I want our next public works project to be. Um, if you've noticed at the... Just underneath the, the uh, train station, I guess it's the best word for it. I was going to say, like, town entrance, but that isn't all that clear. <laughs> um... I, uh, I have a spot marked out with, you know, the pattern that I've been using. Um, that's why I want to put the flower clock eventually, but obviously we need perfect town to get that, and we are nowhere close yet, so... <laughs> I wonder where Robin is. Is she still asleep? No? Okay, she actually is out. I haven't even spoken to her yet. I was going to yesterday, but I wanted to have, like, you know, first introductions with our brand new villager on the Let's Play, not, like, you know, by myself. <laughs> Anything here? No? Okay. I don't see anything at least. I think I checked back here before the video started, or actually just after the video started, so... Oh! <gasps> Hi! Hi! Hi, friend. 
Excuse me, but are you one of the locals here? Ah, oh, excellent. Crystal, is it? Well, my name's Robin. It's nice to meet you. I can't really explain why I moved here. I almost felt possessed to do it. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Now I feel bad. Anyway, I hope we can become good friends. Oh, she's so cute. But apparently she's rude like Willow, but she's so cute. I love her. Anyway, by the way, I'm filling up this spot with the pink lilies that we've been breeding. Uh, I think it just looks nice next to, uh, retail. Hey, Bam. How's it going, dude? Uh, let's talk. The Saturday is the fishing tourney, and of course I'm training hard to win the competition. Gotta keep training to make sure I can cast the bobber out at least a hundred yards. I don't know how much that'll help you, dude, but, you know, you do you. Um... I can't remember if this fishing tourney is one where you have to catch uh, a specific type of fish or it's one where you just have to catch the largest fish. Uh, I'm hoping for the latter because you can just go to the island, catch a shark, and instantly win. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, oops. Hello there. Is that all four? I think it is. Ah, uh, indeed it is. Awesome. Whoops. No. No, stop. Stop. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, we already talked to Bam. Uh, what are our things for today? Small talk. Uh, talk to- okay, we can do that. Tuna, still haven't caught one. Town pass card, update our pitch- ooh, we should do that now that we have better hair. <laughs> and reel them in. Catch 20 fish? Oh my goodness, okay. I mean, maybe I could do that one? These aren't actually that bad. Usually there's like one or two that I absolutely do not want to do because it's like boring. <laughs> but uh, this time I don't mind at all. Also, I need to remember- Oh, hi Wolfgang. This might seem a little weird, but can I ask you a question? Be brutal. What do you think of me? Oh, you're- Oh, wait, um... You're a little bit scary. What's with that? What? What did the what now? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. I mean, what do I look like? A piece of wimpy milky toast? Milky toast? What the f- What? Dude, I said you were kind of scary. I didn't say you were a wimp. <laughs> oh, I don't think I still- I still haven't caught a ladybug, I think. So I should probably get around to that. Hi, Pajmina. How's it going? Uh, I want to chat. Hey, hey, have you met Robin? She just moved into town a little while ago. She's pretty cool. If you haven't done it yet, you should go say hi. I have, and I like her. She's so cute. <laughs> I'm really happy to have her, actually. Ooh, do I have my slingshot on me? I don't. I should probably remember to start carrying that again. Maybe we should actually talk to him properly instead of him pinging us. <laughs> Uh, let's chat, dude. That reminds me, this Saturday is the fishing journey. I'm pretty confident in my fishing skills. You think you can beat me? Bring it. Dude, I can cheat and win. <laughs> uh, was I planting these somewhere? I think I was planting them outside Melba's house, I think. Yes, I was. Okay, perfect. I really like her house. It's in a really bad spot technically, but like, I like, just, I don't know, I think it's the symmetry that gets me. It's very nice. Anyway, um, ooh, what was I doing? Right, let's go uh, donate these fossils. But anyway, before I was talking to Wolfgang, what I was trying to say is I should uh, remember to check retail once again to see if the turnip price went up. I really, really do need the bells on this character. So uh, I'm kind of checking both towns. Uh, somewhat obsessively, and I have probably other people who will also be willing to let me come over and sell turnips anyway, so... Dude, could you at least take one again? Like, that was really nice of you. Uh, assess a fossil. Nope. Seriously? Seriously, Platters? Why? <laughs> I've been working so hard. I've caught, like, caught? Oh my goodness. I've dug up, like, four every day for, like, the last two months, pretty much. 
I've been so good to you, dude. I feel like I need to start bringing over the fossils from my other town. Since my other character does not need the bells or the fossils anymore. But at the same time, I feel like that's kind of cheating, so I don't think I will. <laughs> um, oh, I was just about to ask what time it was, and sure enough. Oops, that's not the right way. Um, I always get caught off by that because in Rose Wolf, the path comes down here. In Rose Wood, it's literally a straight line down from here, so I'm constantly running into this spot, and you can see it too. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Um, but anyway, we should probably go check the turnip prices once again. Fingers crossed it's spiked, although I don't think it will. <laughs> Uh, to turn up prices before I forget. Oh, it, oh, is that random? That might actually be a random uh, thing. I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> I need to review the turn up stock market stuff. I've forgotten now, but I'm pretty sure that might be a random trend. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and all, if all this fails, I always have my other town as well. So I'm not terribly worried. I just would like to earn a lot. I mean, you know, who doesn't? Oh wait, no, no, don't sell that. Uh, 12,000 sounds good. I don't think I have any paper in my, uh, inventory space either, which is unfortunate because I wanted to send a letter to O'Hare. I could always go buy some, I guess. Anyway. How are you guys liking the path, by the way? It's really grown on me. At first it was very different because obviously I've had red brick paths in my town, zuh, both of them, for so long and it's crazy to see something other than like a red-ish brick. So uh, it took a while to get used to, I will give it that, but I, I do like it. Oh, Melba! How are you doing, girl? Oh, hi, Sea Train. Doing your shopping. Uh, what can I do for you? Let's chat. I love shopping here. They get new stock in every day. Yep. Uh, oh, seriously, they have cabin furniture now. Slate flooring. What does that look like? Oh, no, no. They have a cabin clock, too. Seriously? Game, why? <laughs> no, no. I just. I didn't mean to buy that. I pressed A by accident. That's gonna be in our basement now, officially. <laughs> a green wall? No, no thank you. But anyway, yeah, I need to find a good wallpaper and carpet that will go with the modern wood set, because I really hate the modern wood set's uh, carpet and wallpaper. I think it's gross, personally. Uh, so I, I need something else to go with it. Okay, kind of mad at myself for purchasing that by accident, but it's okay. It's it's totally fine. It's not like we're low on bells or anything. <laughs> okay, what do you have for me today, dude? Happy Red Cosmo, okay. Cosmos, Cosmo, not sure. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Red Tulip. And, uh, cedar sapling. Which I do need because I actually did take down a couple of trees earlier. Uh, unfortunately, for making room for paths and such, so... Alright, let's go uh, check out the Able Sisters and Kicks as well, and then we will uh, head back into town, I think. Oh, actually, you know, we should probably get our joke for today as well. Or our, emo our emoticon, I guess, is what you'd call it. I guess? Maybe? Ooh, they have the crown. I have no money for that. <laughs> okay, never mind. That is uh, a super expensive item. I forget exactly how much it is. I'm pretty sure it's more than the princess crown. I think that's what it's called. Um, I don't have any fruit on me. 
Let's go, uh, let's go change that real quick. Okay, so I want to plant, like, right here, I guess. I don't know, is it Cosmos and a red tulip? I always forget which ones are pansies and which ones are Cosmos. Are these Cosmos or are they pansies? Oh, yay! Perfect. Um, and then tulips. Where was I putting red tulips? I had a place for them. Uh, I think I'm thinking of around the fountain area, actually. Right down here. Uh, is it completely filled in? Oh, no, you know what I was doing? I was breeding them. <laughs> I want, uh, orange tulips for around Robin's house, I think. So, how am I gonna do this? Oh gosh, okay. It's weird working with paths here. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I think uh, orange tulips around Robin's house would look really cute. And I think it would also complement uh, O'Hare's house since he has all this yellow around him. If I could have a villager move in next to them who has like a red based house or like a, a house that would look good with red flowers, that would be even better. It would look amazing. But uh, who knows? Uh, yes. Right now though, I don't think I even have uh, orange tulips around her house. I think I just have, uh, yeah, here's the orange tulip back here. Yeah, I have these around her house right now just for, I don't know, placeholder? <laughs> I guess is the right word. Okay, how about we give, uh, Shrunk some peaches today. Unfortunately not golden butt peaches, but, you know, close enough. I'm starting to feel like I have too many of these, like far too many of the normal colors for that species of flower, especially, so <clears throat> I should probably uh, change that up just a bit. Okay, let's go talk to Shrunk. Dude, I need more emotions, please. Please give me a good one, too. Joy joke? Okay. I'm simply bursting with joy up here on the stage today. Wanna well, know why? A visitor just complimented me. He told me that when he has trouble sleeping, he comes to see my show. Oh, that was really short. I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you think? Uh-huh. This, this makes me happy, Shrunk. You've made me... A happy crystal. <laughs> That's one that I actually do use. That is very kind of you. Thank you very much, dude. Okay. So, there is one other thing I want to do before we actually go and see if that um, refurbished item is ready. And that is to go down to the roost because last time I went there, I can't remember if it was on stream or if it was uh, during the Let's Play. Uh, he told us that we'd be allowed to take out, uh, or have takeout coffee, which I want to try. I don't know if I can buy two, like if I can purchase a cup of coffee while sitting in front of him. Or if I can just get take, like if I, or if I can get takeout coffee as well. If that makes any sense. <gasps> Marshall, all oh, your little legs. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at his little feet. <laughs> When I drink coffee, I only like just a little bit of milk in it. Otherwise, the flavor's gone. All right, so uh, if you guys are not aware, 
Uh, having the rooster is a little mini game that involves you serving coffee to your villagers and to other villagers and NBCs. So occasionally when they're in here, they'll tell you a little bit about what they like. I already know what Willow kind of likes, because last time she was in here, I talked to her and I actually wrote it down. Um, so I'm actually going to write down that Marshall only likes a little bit of milk in his, but I'm probably going to do that while I'm actually editing this later. Uh, so I'm not gonna pause the let's play just for that. <laughs> Mild coffee flavor is a real Marshall style. Or is the real Marshall style? Um, should we try it? I don't know if we should risk. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see. This is science, guys. 200 bells for a cup. How about it? One, please. And I'm not sure if buying takeout coffee actually like makes him friendlier with you like this does so I, I guess we'll see ah it's just the right sting it tastes so sophisticated cool thank you okay let's see here Welcome. Okay, can I? Thanks for always visiting. Oh. Thanks for. Okay, so lesson learned: you can only get takeout coffee, or get coffee from here. You can't do both in one day. So we will do that next time, probably. Uh, it's just something cute, like almost like a little accessory you can have. It doesn't really do very much. Okay, so fingers crossed that thing is ready for us. I think that's all we wanted to do today. Actually, you know what? Really quickly, to buy Respore or uh, Cyrus more time, I'm gonna go plant some of these <laughs> peaches. Oh, I did something. Oh, I talked the villagers, right? Thank you. Um, where do I want to put these? We have too many trees up here. We're gonna have to trim that just a little bit. I actually have a lot of trees. <laughs> just looking around, we uh, have very few bald patches. Okay, so there's one. This area actually is kind of lacking, but then again, there will be, if my plan goes correctly, a park here eventually, so I guess I can see why. Alright, let's go talk to Cyrus, see if he uh, has finished up. Oh, Poppy's in here too. I need to talk to Poppy first. <laughs> Oh, you want that, dude? I don't remember what's in his house. Will it look good? I think he has alpine, doesn't he? Eh, you know what? Why not, dude? You go for it. Okay, thank you very much, Poppy. So, oh, it's done. Nice. Take on the modern wood TV? Yep. Awesome! Thank you very much, Cyrus. So we're going to be doing that a lot if we're going through with this set. Uh, just because I want to change every single piece of furniture we have. <laughs> um, and there will be other little times here and there where I will be changing a couple little things that we may be putting in our house. It's kind of a cute little thing. You don't actually really have to do it at all for anything, but some people really like to have a unique uh, home, so you know. Right now, it definitely doesn't match anything in here, but that's okay. Okay. So that actually looks quite good. I'm really happy with that. We'll see what the other pieces look like all together eventually. But anyways, guys, I am probably going to have to end this this episode here so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for playing and watching with me as always and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time